Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. Kuva is doing a last-minute kit test before shipping out to an installation. Wordy's been slamming out some more work on Mermaid Marina. Gen DW cautions to please keep clear. This robot testing lab is not responsible for injuries. Mika is learning physics in Unity, and guess what? It just passed. Put em up says it wouldn't be a heist game without guns, would it? Join their Discord on the link below. Run, little guy! Don't let him take you alive by raising dead. Grime is now available to Wishlist on Steam. Wishlist at the link below and bring this game to life. Matthew Hallberg is playing around with OpenSea in Unity. Riffregate asks what lurks in the deep dark corners of space. In the realm of death, the only thing we crave is the abyss. Register for the closed beta below by Incineration Games. Draw Black has just released their new trailer. Join them in supporting their Kickstarter on the link below. Because it could be the last thing I ever say. Henry McGee reworked how the player interacts with objects, a definite improvement. Farouk is using the new Unity 3D Creator Kit puzzle.
Richard Miles shares a fractal tunnel which reacts to music. A tree wind animation by Precision Cats. A healer spell effect for a game at Ogrehead Studio by Zane. Coal Valley Games demos a recently added second lock box to the room. Good lord, Jordy. A rework of the cloud lighting with a gray texture similar to Toon Shaders by Kilosaurus. Laz Tusi learned a new skill, blocking Incognito Terra. This is epic level water shader magic from Koya. Finally, Midnight Game says I promise I'm not this bad. This took too long to get the kill. This was the best of Made with Unity. Be sure to hashtag Made with Unity and we will do our best to share your creation with the entire game dev world. We are Game Dev HQ and we are out of here. See you next week.